Who is a panel? Welcome to the Gyeong Bokong Palace, the primary palace of the Jozen Dynasty. And that's what we're headed towards. The glory of the royal dynasty of Korea on display right here. And lots of people enjoying the opportunity of being here just like us. This guy's the best show at the uh, palace. Wait, don't go away. There's another aspect of this story I'd like to tell you about. You are viewing Travels with Lobo, Seoul, South Korea edition, vlog number three. Looking at uh, the neighborhood map, we are at? We're at exit five from the metro. And the metro is? Line three. Yongbokung. Kung Station. And we're going where? To Yongbokung. Palace, yes. The National Palace. Yongbokung. Palace offers visitors a chance to interact with Korean history. Originally built in 1395, it was destroyed during the Japanese invasion of the late 1500s and later restored. It's still home to some of the most stunning and traditional architecture in Seoul and is often touted as the most beautiful palace in the city. Uh, the glory of the royal dynasty of Korea on display right here. Lots of people enjoying the opportunity of being here just like us on a Saturday. It's good to see the sun coming out in the afternoon, shedding some uh, light on the facade. You can't go in there. Some more of the outbuildings. Barb, there's a body of water over here. Frozen. Really appreciate the warm rays of the sun. It's kind of pretty, yeah? The frozen water. <laughs> Ah, 
This guy is the best show at the uh, palace. Interesting uh, views right here with angles meeting roofs and uh, tiles. Oh yeah, here. Let's see. Yes, up here. Interesting views. As I peer through here. Meanwhile, the pink coat is walking around the corner. Over there. Better give chase. On this sunny afternoon, we're walking towards the five-tiered pagoda. The pagoda, it turns out, is on top of a museum. We're about to do a quick walkthrough of the National Folk Museum of Korea. Here at the museum is uh, somewhat of a historical guideline, albeit difficult to read. 1392, founding of the Jo Sen. It's the name of the royal emperor dynasty. Jo Sen. Um, what else here? 1592. Japanese invasion of Korea, one of many. Founding of the Korean Empire in 1897. 1899, opening of the Seoul Incheon Line, Korea's first railway. Incheon is uh, just outside of Seoul, and that is where the airport is now located. symbol of Korea. 1945, the liberation from the Japanese occupation, August 1945, founding of the Republic of Korea, 1948, India was declared, declared independence in 1947. The Korean War, the famous Korean War, in 1950, 1950 to 53, student revolution in 1960, the Seoul Summer Games in 1988, summit between South and North Korea in 2000 that led to nothing, FIFA World Soccer Championship in 2002, opening of the high speed rail in 2004, and that's the high speed rail there. Walking through the gate. Look at the ceiling, Barb says. And uh, Seoul lays before you. We're at the exit. Turn left. Ah, the guards, the guards. This guy is not a waxen figure. He's a real, a real person. Even though he looks like Madame Tussauds' best effort. They all look straight out of Madame Tussauds. Don't, Barb, take this photo. 
This this would make for a great photo here. Just outside the palace entrance, that's so popular, modern Seoul. And we're headed down in this way to get to that historic village that's very close nearby. But wait, don't go away. There's another aspect of this story I'd like to tell you about. In Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, where I live, there is a King Sejong restaurant. King Sejong Korean restaurant. What is that all about? Well, if Barbara and I had only walked straight ahead instead of turning left, we would have come upon one of the most important monuments in Korea. Many people consider King Sejong the greatest person in Korean history. Known as Sejong the Great, he was the fourth king of the Joseon dynasty and ruled from 1418 to 1450. Known for his many accomplishments, he is best remembered as the inventor of Hangul, the phonetic alphabet system for the Korean language that is used to this day. For more information, I have links to King Sejong, the Joseon dynasty, and Korea's last royal family in the description below. The glory of the royal dynasty of Korea on display right here. Thank you for viewing this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs up. And see you next Friday for more in this series on Seoul, South Korea. And a special thank you for those of you from South Korea who are viewing my videos.